That shooting in Boise happened a couple hours earlier around 1045 this morning. Boise police say an officer shot a man after that man appeared to point and fire a weapon at officers. Jude Binkley has been following this story since it broke earlier. He's live in Southeast Boise where that shooting happened. Jude. Well, Morgan, we're at the corner of East Boise Avenue and South Apple Street. We're at a Wells Fargo right now where you can actually see a bullet hole in one of these windows. Now, the scene here is clear. The roads are back open and there is no threat to the public. But earlier today, roads were closed and several blocks were taped off as police investigated the shooting. In a news conference, Boise Police Chief Ron Weiniger said the shooting happened at around 1045 this morning. Before that, police received a call about a man who was traveling from Oregon to Boise who made threats to his family who lived in this area. Ada County Sheriff's deputies spotted the man in Star. They tried to pull him over in Eagle, but he fled. He was then spotted in this area. Police say he parked and got out of his car with what appeared to be some kind of a gun. Police say he pointed and appeared to fire it. Police then fired back. The suspect was hit and ran from the scene. Officers caught him and took him into custody. Chief Weiniger says police found a BB gun at the scene. Well, I, I will tell you there was uh, a CO2 powered BB gun replica firearm that looked very, very real and uh, that was recovered near the scene. The suspect is at the hospital and is expected to survive. Once released, police say he'll be booked into the Ada County Jail and nobody else was hurt. We are grateful for a couple of things. One, that uh, uninvolved people uh, don't appear to have any injuries, so we are grateful for that. The officers do not have any physical injuries. We are very grateful for that. We are also grateful that the subject involved or the suspect in this case uh, appears to be suffering from non-life-threatening injuries, and uh, we, we expect that he will survive. We're grateful for that. Now, this incident happened very close to Timberline High School. Police say school resource officers at Timberline were ready to place the school under lockdown, but the school was able to continue operations and no students were affected. Now, Morgan, the Meridian Police Department is leading the critical incident task force for the investigation on this case. Back to you. As the critical incident task force does whenever there is a police shooting. All right, Jude, appreciate your report. Thank you.